name's Ellie Harrowell and I'm a campaigner with Global Witness. Global Witness is a campaigning NGO. We work to break the links between uh, conflict, natural resources and corruption. I'm here today to give an update on the Kimberley process and on the question of conflict diamonds. Uh, I want to talk a bit about what are the hotspots coming up in the next 12 to 24 months and also what the industry and investors can do to help in the fight against conflict diamonds and how their choices and can help us in achieve that aim. My name is Peter Ganya, I'm uh, the Vice President of Mining and Minerals. I'm in charge of business development in Africa. We are currently looking at opportunities in Zimbabwe. There was also a very good presentation on the um, Kimberley process and other initiatives that are coming up from civil society about um, conflict diamonds. Of major interest was the mention of my country, Zimbabwe, and uh, well, there, there seems to be compliance, and I was fascinated by, by what the global organizations are looking at when they are looking at Zimbabwe and, and uh, conflict diamonds in Africa. Thank you, first of all, for inviting me back to speak. Um, I'm glad I didn't put you off last year. Um, my name is Ellie, and I work on the issue of conflict diamonds in the conflict resources team at Global Witness. For those of you that don't know us, uh, Global Witness is a non-governmental organization. We're a campaigning organization and we research and campaign to break the links between uh, natural resources, conflict and corruption. We have been working on the issue of conflict diamonds for quite some time now. Um, we first produced a report back in 1998 on the uh, links between diamonds and the Angolan War. 